So this is for the BR5 triangle, and there's a ton of pieces on this one. But they're real straightforward as long as you keep them organized. This is an EPP modified block, and the only change that's been made is that this point, instead of having two pieces here, it's one piece, and the same for number one. When I did my block prep, I numbered my pieces so that when I threw them in a baggie and took them back out, that I knew exactly where they were. So I've laid them out here, and there's just there's a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom of the triangle, the widest part, and assemble this in rows. So I'll assemble 35 to 39, and then I'm going to do the same thing here, and so on. But um, we'll get to the order. So for basting this top row here, I'm going to baste the hypotenuse of the triangles first and then the legs. That will put the tags facing outside and hopefully we'll have some minimum uh, impact to this row for these tags. So I'm going to work on assembling the bottom row of this triangle. So I've got this top row basted. I did these first and then I did the sides so my tags are going up and then down here. I've got these assembled so all I got to do is assemble these. I, I put this one to this one and then added that and added this and added this is how I'm doing my assembly for this one. So I will just continue to add the other two pieces and then I will have a completed bottom row and this is what these look like so far. So now I've got the whole bottom section of the triangle all assembled. So I will set that aside and I will work on the next section, which is all this stuff right here. So I'm going to assemble these in sections like this. And then I'll put this on here and then I'll put the sides on last. My basting for this, I'll have to look into, but I think what I'm going to do is base this one first and then these two to make the tags go out on each one of these. But I'll have to reevaluate that when I go to do this row. These, I'm just going to do opposite sides and then opposite sides. Just a note about basing these little triangles. These are not equilateral triangles. This is shorter than these two sides. These two sides seem to be equal. But if you mix them up, then you're in trouble. So what I've done is, like I said, I'm doing this bottom section first. So that's where my tags are. But if you put it sideways, it's not the same as putting it pointed down. So just make sure that you know. And that's why I'll baste only what I need to and then assemble it and then baste the next section and assemble it. Because you, get, you cover up your labels once you baste. So I've got this first section together, which was consisting of these three pieces. I've basted with this side first and then these sides, and then I basted these two sides and then these two sides. I'm going to be consistent with my diamonds and make sure that I do these two sides and then these two sides because it matters which way these point. So this way they will all point in the same direction. When I went to line these up and stitch them together, I wanted to make sure that I pointed out that this edge on the diamond needs to be directly in line with the edge of the triangle and the same over here. If you have any kind of lip over, and this is a tiny bit of lip over, but if you have any uh, lip over on this, then it could magnify itself as you put your triangle together. And these points should be right at the edge here. So you want to be real careful. This is why the tape, taping with the flat spec stitch method is very convenient because you can tape it in place exactly where it needs to be. So I'm going to continue on down the line here with these next few units and get these put together. All right, so now I got the first two pieces put together. And when I put these, when I connect these, the seams are going to nest into one another which is why I did the tags the way I did. So that'll give it a nice finish. And so when I, when I go to tape these together, they'll just be able to sit. I gotta line them up, of course. 
but they'll be sit sit real nicely. I'm going to connect these so that I know where they go, and then I'm going to put this on this other piece so that I don't lose track of what goes where. So now I've connected these two pieces, and there's a third piece that goes goes next to it that would be this section up here. But the next thing I'm going to connect is this edge piece. I'm going to base the two small sides and then the out the uh, bigger sides and connect it so I know which side is which. So now I've got this side attached and I'm going to move on to attach this to each other and then put that on this side. So I've added the third section and so this is what I've got so far which is this section right here. Now this other diamond doesn't have a bottom diamond. It has a top diamond and another one on this side. So I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to put this guy on. Then I'll attach it to this piece. Oops. I'll attach it to this piece and then once that's attached I'll put this on to finish this whole row. So I got this last diamond section put together and I put my tape on there already and I'm just going to attach it to this section and then this goes here. So let me get this together and I'll have my second section completed. Alright, so I've got the whole second section completed and so this is what you should have at this point and then this will attach to that. The next section is this more of the same kind of thing and I'm going to do that, put this together, attach the side and then do this so you get two of these, and then you got one of these and one of this. So it's just it's just one diamond less than this. Looking at my diagram here, I'm going to do the basting the same way that I did here because the points are going to be in the middle of the triangle, so they shouldn't interfere with each other. So I'm just going to do the exact same kind of basting as I did here on this one. So I've got row one and row two put together, and I am going to be starting on row three. So now I've started on my third section here. I've got this first, um, these first three pieces put together, which are just these three, and I'm going to then attach this little side bit, and that will be the, the beginning of this side, and I'll move on to the next section and attach them as I go. So I've assembled this first bit with the edge and so then I've got this all basted and ready to assemble and then attach to the first bit. So now I've got this whole bit assembled and then I've got the rest of this basted. I'm going to put these together in that unit, attach this unit to this and attach that to the final one to make up the entire third section. Okay, so we have, I have all this third section complete. So I'm going to take this and put this over here and attach it to that. And then I'm going to work on the next section, which is the final tip section. Okay, so now I've got three sections assembled. I want it, you want to take note of the fact that when you attach these, you want to make sure that the edge is in alignment. This one's a little bit off, but that should be okay. Um, with the triangles, you don't want to you don't want to get it too off so that you can maintain the angle of the edge. And these should be in the middle of these triangles. A couple of them are off here and there, but they're, it's going to be okay. What I did is I sewed to about here, and then I tied off, and then I started over here, and then I finished up. Each one of these I'll sew a, sew this way to pull this closed, and then I'll then I'll come back and I'll do this this way so these form a little X when I sew this together and that essentially pulls this closed to further suck up any kind of um, extra growth that had happened during assembly. So I'm going to now assemble this point here. What I'm going to do, same type of thing. Um, in this situation I'm going to do this, these three like I did. So these are the three like the same unit. I'm going to attach these two, I think, no, I'm going to attach these three. So I'll do these three like I did in a line, 
and then I'll do this as a unit and then attach this. Then I'll be able to attach number two and then number one. When I baste um, my number two, I will baste this long edge first so that my tags go out and I don't have any interference with this center section. The same thing with number one. I'll do the outside first and then do the other two. And then I'll baste everything else the same way. When I do these, I'm going to make sure that my points or my, my extra tags on this one, instead of doing it with this first and then these, and then the tags would be the same way here, I'm going to put the tags on one of these other sides. I'm not sure which one yet. So I've got these basted, and so this little, little tiny end here is, um, I tried to do that as best I could, maintaining the integrity of the top. And then this other side, same thing. Just, you know, I tried to be real careful about not folding, not folding the edge over, so I will manipulate that when I get to attaching it. And then I attach these to each other like before, and then this one like before. So I'm gonna connect these, and then I'm gonna base this with my tags facing either this way or this way. I'm probably going to go so that my tags face this way, which means I'm going to base this edge first so that it doesn't conflict with these tags right here. So I'll make it to assembling this section. So I've got this section together for my point, and then I've basted this. I've basted this side first, as I said. This, this is going to interfere with it, but at least I won't have two points interfering. So I will connect that to this, and then I'll do number two, and then number one will complete it. So I've completed assembly of the tip section, and now I'm going to connect it to the main triangle to complete the triangle. Now when I do this, I want to make sure that when I line it up, if you look at this real close, this little bit, that's the edge. This edge goes here. When I was going to tape it and set it up, I, I didn't see that right away. So when you tape this on here, or when you go to connect it, this edge goes to this point, even though that's a little lower. And then this one's flipped up. Same thing here. This edge is, this This is goes here. So this is the hard issue with the little bits. Make sure that your little bits are on the edge and you're not lining it up here with this triangle. And now I have a completed BR5 triangle.